Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. We are now getting very close to the end of July of 2023. And given that there's a lot of problems arising over at Disney between what happened with Indiana Jones 5, as well as Elemental, Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel for Star Wars shutting down by this September, I mean, the list goes on and on for Bob Iger's failures of 2023, and it's only getting worse with the upcoming Marvel's movie, as well as Snow White for 2024. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. And let's get right into exactly what's going on here with Phoebe Waller-Bridge and Kathleen Kennedy. Now, like I always say, it's not all that surprising when people like them begin to eat each other because of arising issues, specifically over at Lucasfilm in this scenario. And we know that there's a lot of problems happening with Lucasfilm because of the emergency meeting that took place at Disney last week, initiating this Lucasfilm purge, essentially, that's going to take two whole years to complete between multiple firings of employees, as well as restructuring of different departments at Lucasfilm, and even dropping a lot of movies, TV shows, etc., etc. Now, on top of this, what's even more interesting is exactly why there are tensions growing between both Phoebe Waller and Kathleen Kennedy, something that I would have never expected and at the same exact time, I'm not all that surprised because this also did happen between Kathleen Kennedy and others like Phoebe Waller-Bridge, but I digress. What's interesting about this development is that with Phoebe Waller-Bridge still upselling Indy 5 to this day, however, one major development is that Phoebe Waller is having major issues surprising with Kathleen Kennedy over Indy 5 and the current situation surrounding the film for one major reason. Behind the scenes, there are growing tensions and grudges brewing between Phoebe and Kennedy as Kennedy is planning to not release many of the deleted scenes that feature Helena Shaw that Phoebe worked extra hard on to complete. Now, Phoebe got into argumentative conversations with Kennedy and her decision to move forward with keeping the deleted scenes down to a bare minimum on the Blu-ray and Disney Plus release of The Dial of Destiny, which they are planning now to debut sometime by the end of September at the latest. Now, the deleted scenes featuring Helena Shaw featured fighting soldiers back in time during the Siege of Syracuse, something that Kennedy ended up cutting from the film entirely and consisted of scenes that were worked on from the borrowed extra $100 million from Disney that she requested. There were also three major scenes in total in which Helena Shaw fights the soldiers after they travel back in time, two of which are to save Indiana Jones. The other is where Helena is tossing a spear at a burned up Voller who is surprisingly still alive after the plane crash. She was originally going to give Voller the final blow, killing him off instantly using the spear. Now let me stop here for a second guys. Now there is more to this that we had to, that we have to talk about that I think is very interesting because this is all rooted to the extra 100 million that Kennedy said to Bob Iger that we need the, those scenes or this money to make the movie complete. And she deleted the scenes anyway, really kind of just tossing money in the trash. And it's even worse over the fact that she is refusing to release these scenes on the Blu-ray and even for Disney+, Plus, which is the big problem that Phoebe Waller-Bridge is having with. Now, this reminds me exactly what happened to Rise of Skywalker. We talked about this three years ago. You guys may recall, we covered this constantly, day in and day out, about that development between the tensions between Kathleen Kennedy, J.J. Abrams, Chris Terrio, etc., of how she did not want to release many scenes that were shot that were in favor for George Lucas for episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker, that never saw the light of day on Disney+, Plus, let alone never actually arrived even on the Blu-ray. Same exact thing applies here with The Dial of Destiny. Same exact thing. I'm not all that surprised. That's why I said I'm not that big of a, you know, shock here over what happened with Kathleen Kennedy. Now, the thing on top of this is that they actually had a lot more scenes during the Siege of Syracuse during the third act of the film. They really wanted to make this movie longer, like literally almost like a three hour film, maybe even above three hours. You guys may or may not notice, but three hour movies are almost becoming the norm 
quite progressively. I mean, Oppenheimer is a three-hour movie. You know, we had Martin Scorsese's last film. That was a three-hour movie, just to name a few. There's a lot of things. But on top of this, this was all deleted by Kathleen Kennedy, and they were very expensive scenes as well, as it required very heavy CGI work to be done. Kennedy is now refusing to release this on media formats, and Phoebe Waller is having very large issues with Kennedy for making that decision behind closed doors. Additionally, another scene deleted by Kennedy that Waller Bridge is angry about is where there was supposed to be, of course, a major scene where Helena Shaw was fighting Indiana Jones after an argument similar to that of Rey fighting Luke in The Last Jedi, but the scene was cut early on after filming. Walter Bridge wanted this released on, as a deleted scene that's now never seeing the light of day at all. So, this is the major reason why Phoebe Waller is having major problems with Kathleen Kennedy. She has fallen into argumentative conversations, like we talked about. And what's interesting about this is that you can see that they really tried to make her, gar like, girl bossy toward the end of this movie, fighting Indiana Jones, saving him being the savior of Indiana Jones, you know, taking on the soldiers during the Siege of Syracuse with little to no flaws or weaknesses in her view at all. And it just goes to show you that Phoebe Waller-Bridge really was very unhappy about this because of those sole reasons. It's almost like she wanted that to be shown on the big screen and wanted that to be shown to the general public of herself fighting Indiana Jones, much like Rey was fighting Luke on Ark 2 in the rain. You guys may or may not remember that, but yeah, we all remember that actually. The casual fans may have already forgotten about that though, but a lot of fans had problems with that. It was almost like a copy and paste scenario by Kathleen Kennedy, and it's almost coming across as more and more realistic that all these characters, Rey, Phoebe Waller-Bridge, um, you know, all these different characters in Star Wars, Indiana, etc. It's almost coming across like they are self-inserts of Kennedy into all of these projects. I don't know if that's the case, but it's becoming more and more of a reality and seemingly more real as everything is almost like, yeah, let's just copy this and throw it into this movie and just create a template for all these Lucasfilm projects. Anyway, on top of this, we know that Phoebe Waller-Bridge still says this to this day, that she believes that the ending in the final cut of The Dial of Destiny outperforms The Last Crusade, which I will always say is ludicrous, it makes no sense, and as far as I'm concerned, there are only three Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones movies. It all stopped at The Last Crusade. There's no Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, as far as I'm concerned. Even though that's a bad movie, at least it did not deconstruct the character of Indiana Jones. That's how I see things. That's the only respect I get out of Indiana Jones 4, is that it did not devalue the character. Now, anyway, guys, I would like to hear what you all have to say about this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel, and I will catch you guys next time. <laughs>